Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian Mom Cooking. So today I'm going to share with you a simple and at the same time healthy recipe which is called vegetable kurma and you can add as many vegetables you want. Here I've added potatoes, carrot and beans. So let's start with the video now. This is like a one pot recipe. So I'm going to make uh, this vegetable kurma in one single uh, cooker. So let's start with the video now. So we are going to uh, make a paste it's a coconut paste so I'm going to take about two tablespoon of coconut like five to six cashews one green chili and a spoon of fennel seeds and a spoon of poppy seeds so just blend it into a fine paste you can add water so the consistency should look like this so just keep it aside we are going to add this at the end of the kurma so now i placed a pressure cooker so here i'm using steel pressure cooker from prestige it's a five liter pressure cooker if you want to know uh, if you want to buy this cooker you can check out my description box where i've given the link so to that i'm going to add about two tablespoon of oil and i'm going to add two cloves one green cardamom, one inch cinnamon, one spoon of fennel seeds, one bay leaves and half spoon of chadikai and um, yes basically whole garam masalas. So just give it a good stir and then followed by finely chopped onions. So I've chopped like one a big size onion into julienne's and also two slitted green chilies. So just give it a good stir. And we are going to cook this onion until it becomes softer. So close the lid and cook for about 2 to 3 minutes. Now I am going to add freshly grinded ginger garlic paste. So I always prefer to fr uh, grind ginger garlic fresh because it gives you a lot of flavor and aroma to your entire kurma. And again close the lid and cook for a minute. And yes, now I'm going to add about two medium sliced, sliced tomatoes that are uh, sliced into julienne. And again, give it a good stir. Add salt so that the tomatoes get cooked faster. So I'm going to cook this for about two minutes with the lid closed. So make sure to keep the flame on medium. And the tomatoes are well cooked now. To this, I'm going to add the powder masalas, starting off with half spoon of turmeric powder, one spoon of Kashmiri chili powder, one spoon of coriander powder. You can use plain chili powder as well. And give it a good stir. Make sure to keep the flame on low while you add the masalas. Give it a good stir for a minute. And I'm going to add vegetables. Here I've taken carrot, beans and potatoes. So I'm going to add a small cup of carrot, a small cup of, cup of beans and also a small cup of potato. You can add cauliflower, you can add uh, um, as many vegetables you want. You can add peas. So this is such a... Uh, healthy recipe and you can uh, complement this recipe with non chapati puri tosa and again I'm going to give it a good stir now until all the masalas gets well into each pieces of the vegetable now I'm going to add the coconut paste which we have grinded earlier so again give it a nice stir So that's it, we are pretty much about 75%. So now I'm going to add required salt and water. Here I'm adding like about a cup of water. You can add as much water you want. So if you want more gravy, you can add more water. And that's it, finally add half a spoon of garam masala. Just give it a good quick stir. And when it starts to bubbles like this, you can close the lid and um, pressure cook it. So I'm going to place the whistle and on medium flame leave for two whistles. 
and that's it your kurma will be ready so this is how i make vegetable kurma very easy and a simple recipe and at the same time very delicious you can complement with chapati non pulka and also dosa so i always prefer to uh, pack this for my kids lunch box he loves this recipe so much he eats along with the chapati or paratha please do try this recipe at home and let me know in the comment section you can please share your uh, valuable comments in the comment section and also if you are new to my channel click on that red subscribe button so i'm just going to garnish with the freshly chopped coriander leaves and uh, that's it this is how i make vegetable kurma very easy it's like a one pot recipe please to try it at home and if you're still new to my channel click on that red subscribe button and i've given the link of the cookware in the description box if you want to get them you can definitely go and check it out and please do visit my other channels which is given in the description box and subscribe to those channel as well so i will all catch you in my next recipe thank you all so much for watching See you all in my next recipe. Bye-bye. Stay happy.